Hi there! For this part of your quiz, which is a crossword puzzle, I will teach you how to answer it online. So once you have clicked the link there that I have sent to you, so you will see this. So there will be a crossword puzzle. And then below it are the clues you need uh, to answer your puzzle. Okay? There will be words across and words that are down. Okay? Then how will you answer this? For example, we will answer the first word or yung number one. So we click the box with the number one. So as you can see, as you click the box, the clue will also be highlighted. Okay? Then you just type normally on your keyboard. For example, this is our answer. And then it will be shown on the box and it will be arranged automatically. Then after you answer the first one, you can click the next box or you can just click the next clue. Okay? Or you can click other other clues. It depends on what do you want to answer. Okay? For example, we will answer number two. We will click the clue number two, or we will just click the box. Okay. But as you finish answering number one, you can see that there is a red X uh, on before the number. It means that your answer is correct, uh, incorrect. But if it is correct, you can see a green check before the number. Okay. So how will you change your answer? just click again to the box of the answer that you want to change then you just type another answer and it will be overlapped okay then you proceed with the next okay, okay. but if you want to erase everything and you want to start from scratch there will there is a three line below in the lower right you click that one and click the clear puzzle and it will ask you if you really want to clear the puzzle it means it will erase everything okay as you see and so if you only want to change one answer just go back to that number and change the word Okay, but if you want to erase everything, you need to clear the puzzle. Okay, so after you have answered all the items, you need to submit it or post it in the Google Classroom uh, as PDF. So click again the three lines, click the printer icon, then under the destination, you choose save as PDF, then save you can rename for example it is your answer and save so let's check so this is your answer in pdf file so this will be the one that you will upload in the google classroom okay that's all